distinguish the speakers today. We have, um, I, I start from the lady, I hope you don't mind. We have Miss uh, um, Wang Meixin, who is a, a fellow of the Chemistry Royal Society in the UK and has rich experience in IP. And we also have invited uh, um, Mr. Fang Changxuan, um, who is the director of the Licensing Executive Society from Korea. And we also have Mr. Uh, Li Zhengshuo, um, who is the general manager for a technology transfer agent, also in the Licensing Sub um, Executive Society of Korea. Um, the topics we are talking about, we are going to hear today is kind of complex. I am going to recite um, the reality of the two topics, but my understanding is we are going to have IP discussed in the framework of transactions. When I was studying um, Enzo Bachelor, uh, I have a very I had a very famous professor, <laughs> um, and he used to um, tell us again and again when we are learning law, we are learning the subject matter one by one. It is like learning the 18 Kung Fu one by one. But we are going to work in the practice, in the future. Nobody is going to tell you that you are going to exercise your international private law first, and then the contract law second, probably criminal law comes as a third one. You are not. You are going to practice all the things together. We are going to hear what is happening in the reality. IP, not as copyright, a separate one, patent law, a separate one. You are not going to hear the anti-competition cases discussed one by one. You are going to hear IP, competition law, MNA in the um, as a whole. And I am kind of excited uh, um, to welcome the lectures because I have personally practiced in the field uh, of MNA, uh, mainly focusing on the uh, IP issues. And there were a lot of exciting uh, stories. And we know that with China is buying worldwide, um, um, very frequently focusing on IP. I guess a lot of more uh, more interesting stories is now happening also worldwide. Uh, we probably will not hear so much about uh, the um, quite current cases, but we are going to hear about uh, some uh, huge cases that have already happened. So let us welcome the three speakers to uh, um, to the wonderful uh, lecture. Today I'm a very pure uh, 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 I have uh, I know uh, a few Chinese words, Ni Hao uh, and Ren Xi Ni Meng, Hong Kao Xing. So um, uh, actually today's uh, original speaker was Mr. Kang Jun Kim. Uh, our CEO and president, uh, but uh, today uh, he pays some other matter, and so he had to uh, return to Korea. So uh, today I uh, say uh, I make a presentation for you on behalf of Mr. Kim. I heard that uh, most of today's audience uh, from the legal department to them. So I believe uh, some uh, people know uh, most of you are very familiar with those uh, IP issues. Uh, the compliance is a relatively new issue compared with our two. Compliance generally means that uh, procedure or internal rules that um, must be followed to ensure full compliance with the law, such as antitrust. Recently, but many companies start to pay attention to the compliance in IPP. Companies like Verizon, Apple uh, have internal compliance team. Then uh, they have started to handle IP issue. Uh, 
freedom to operate is the main goal of IP management. It means freedom to design, make, and sell the product with competitive price. No company wants to be involved in patent infringement litigation for their uh, daily business. So companies conduct IP clearance search to check pattern that their product might be related with. Uh, if we find out some patent concern, then you have to do uh, claim construction analysis. Companies sometimes can get some information of the trend of technology or market as a collateral. Uh, uh, indemnity is collateral contract or assurance to transfer the risk of patent litigation or claim. It is one of typical example of transport risk. It could be a double-edged sword. For set manufacturer, it could be good weapons to protect. But for part manufacturer, it's heavy. <coughs> uh, for compliance, April IP team check up IP issue before her smartphone market entry. Before they get into mobile business, they already had contacted with N company and E company. Further, it is famous that Apple acquires Notel patents for Vestal of 4.5 billion. Different approach for IP compliance is in open source license. On the open source license like Apache Volume 2, Companies use the software free of charge on the conditions like statement of using the license. Android was developed by Open Handset Alliance to catch up iOS or iPhone. Chinese companies are mainly facing two challenges. One is threat from global operating companies like Apple and Qualcomm. The second is NPEs. Right now, number one is, is more serious threat to Chinese companies. Because those companies are competitor or at least they are potential competitors. Money pro, if any, will be doubled in the aspect of competitiveness. Chinese company will lose their competitiveness while their competitors gain. But still, the contract must be taken over. It caused monetary problem. Strong patent works as deterrent course against other operating companies. Portfolio also means good weapons to shoot down the rival companies. To avoid pattern problem, throwaway approach can be taken. First one is gaining bargaining power. Second one is avoiding the war. One of the solutions against the threat from MPE, they have options like defensive pattern aggregation. Also, Asia's companies need to pay attention to Asia's favorite solution. Right? All those solutions start from valuation. Understanding IP is the first step to tackle the threat. Also, valuation goes with M&A, technology transfer, R&D, and IP finance. Valuation comes in various cases. Pattern price in recent IP transaction, Google Motorola deal went up to uh, 
Jag ser under ett kej vid Stavros på Petra. Han hade också sin merkommelse i auktion. Det är Eikerutsons på Dotel Petron portfolio. Vaxta konsortium var 4.5 miljon US dollars. Which translate unit petrol price is uh, 750k US dollars. To meet strategic purposes, companies sometimes adopt other methods to acquire patents. In 2013, Abago, uh, Singapore Incorporated Manufacturer of Electronic Components, acquired LSI for 6.6 billion US dollars. In 2014, Abago acquired Broadcom for 37 billion dollars. After two acquisitions, Abago's patent goes up to about uh, 20,000 US patent and uh, 3,800 patent applications. Uh, Chinese companies have actively involved in IP transactions. Huawei, a uh, multinational networking and telecommunication company, has brought patents from various companies like Sharp, IBM, Real Sky Subsea, Soapstone Networks, Angel Corporation, etc. In 2014, Lenovo, multinational computer technology company, bought 21 patent families of 3G LTE for $100 million from Unwired Planet which acquires the product from Ericsson. Right at the one month, Lenovo bought 3,800 patent Pro 3G and LTE standards from NEC. Sharp Japan, uh, 88, including 82 uh, US assets transferred in May 2013. IBM, United States, 69 Huawei has contracted IBM for advisory work on a number of occasions, including co management consultancy and brand strategy. NCR Corporation's United States, uh, 14 NCR, is a US based computing and electronic company focused on transaction technology. Therapy was owned for Kaimon by AT&T. Japan uh, is considered a sourcing place for high quality IP. The buyers of Panasonic's patents are mainly from other countries like uh, Mentally, Sister, Era Wireless, Optics and Wireless. In 2013, over 900 patent pro image sensors, semiconductor packaging, LED, were transported to Wiley. In 2014, over 500 patent pro 3G and 4G technologies were transported to Inventory. Another Japanese like company, uh, NEC, has actively monetized this patent. In 2012, NC sold patent for flat panel display technology to Hunghai, a tax code for $122 million. In 2014, NC sold over 3,800 patent for 3G, 4G, and other smartphone technologies to Lenovo. Many Japanese companies, Hitachi, Sony, Renaissance Electronics, Mitsubishi Electric, Fujifilm, NEC, Panasonic, Rome, etc. have been selling their patents to Korean companies, which include uh, IPCOM, Akasha Resource, Apple, Samsung Electronics, Google, Hunghai Paxcom, Wiley, Inventorsy, and Lenovo. Uh, with 
low in cost on about companies IP transactions. IP bridge was set up with investment of IECJ. IP bridge's mission is to monetizing patent from the companies in hope of returning from R&D investment. IP bridge has brought patents mainly from Japanese companies. The technology of the patent cover smartphone, video codec, uh, such as MPEG-LA pattern pool, and automotive part. Uh, banking industries uh, like Wall Street-based firms deal IP as the same category of real estate. The comparison between patent reality gives some implication for IP variations. While they, as I said, can be priced, loaned, sold, registered, they have difference in tangibility, exploration, and source. There is no universal solution for variation, especially in IP. But variation is indispensable to finance, transaction, Including more than 600 patent families for LED, 
in 2014, Songo Electronics, which is controlled by Xiaomi, was transferred for the related technology from Daytime Telecom, subsidiary Namco uh, for 16.8 million. Patterns also have a uh, monetizing value. In Japan, many economically distressed companies sold their patterns to other, others, including MPE. IPBG shows uh, our company, Intellectual Discoveries uh, Business. Uh, as you can see, uh, our company has uh, patent uh, portfolios, including uh, this uh, technical period. Uh, intellectual Discovery Business model, we have two uh, subsidiary companies. One is Ideal Beauty and the other one is uh, ID Ventures. Uh, uh, Ideal Beauty and ID Ventures are uh, uh, con conveying uh, business and uh, IP uh, uh, IPL set uh, acquiring business. In cooperation with uh, these uh, three companies, uh, our ID, ID Ventures and ID Bridges, uh, we are trying to uh, make uh, uh, IP uh, industry uh, for Korean uh, business uh, companies, but uh, we are uh, trying to expand uh, this model to uh, Korean companies like Chinese companies. But uh, I am wondering, do you think there is anything that is, you think the students might be very interesting to, to know? I think what you have previously talked uh, have been very interesting. Mm -hmm. uh, um, but when it comes to uh, the company's practice, probably uh, you think there might be some knowledge that you want to share for them so they are going to be able to uh, use the knowledge when they enter into the practice field? Um, this is a, a business model combination uh, because normally uh, the Asian capital management company, when they invest on IP, they only have one purpose. But we want to show you the various business model. For example, you have the intellectual discovery. They were searching the uh, promising patent and then they have their access management. The access management company will help the selected idea uh, invention or the idea to cultivate them to help them for research, uh, guiding them for research uh, direction and helping them to find their pattern and, and for future business plan so that they, after they need to have some IP venture help them to, for example, it's pharmaceutical uh, ideas they need to file, do experiments, they have to identify the uh, clinical indications or file FDA or, or make building manufactured. So this is a new business model. They have uh, three combinations all together. Uh, so you don't, when, when you are the inventor, you don't have to worry about the resource, you don't have to worry about the management uh, professional, and you, you can guide, you can concentrate on your core competence. So this is the new model for uh, Korean government. They have newly built. And for the next one, that's why we try to share for these three companies altogether, they could invest the basic technology fund, even if it's just a platform for idea. For example, Johnson Johnson just invests a China Busing Center. 
though it was just an idea, you don't even know whether it will work, whether you will pass the clinical trial, whether you will pass FDA or pass the market test, but they help you with their profound experience from the very beginning to the end. So they say in here, they could uh, invest your idea, they help you to securitize raising the funding because researchers certainly doesn't know how to uh, convince the rich people to invest on you. And then perhaps, for example, like me, I'm a poor professor. If my research fail, and then who going to uh, invest on me? Then they could have the securitization, a remote control system. They have the risk management system, and they also have the protection for the public investors. Uh, for example, in China recently, you you have a government. Uh, guidelines and also you, we just did a, a training course in Changsha. China have selected 115 leading companies to uh, focus on IP management, monetization uh, business. But how to do that? Uh, even government give them the funding, give them the plan, but you need service company, for example, the IP access management company to monitor the plan, protect the investors or even uh, uh, equity partners to make sure the plan following the funding proposal and then later on if there's some uh, there's always unexpected situation happen for example if your pattern with compulsory license then your royalty will be dropped uh, drastically in this case how to avoid the, uh, the, the, the damage from the public investors and you have different kind of uh, guidance. For example, they also have some uh, unexpected situation. For example, if you file to FDA, uh, FDA sometimes they think they change their policy from time to time. So your, your research may not always go as you wanted. So they, they have this kind of a second, uh, just the earth they have the uh, second round or other plane to guide this is the what we're trying to say is they, they have the uh, IP basement, um, business and also financial harmonization support. This is a new model. Um, when we were in Changsha, the I state IP office asked how they doing this. Uh, so that's why they said you need if you want to go into this business, you need to have a litigation licensing experience. So everything you learn from the university, every subject that matters, even the bankruptcy law. Secure as role, uh, every, everything matters. And then uh, individual licensing and um, also transaction financial experience. Look, actually, it's the, the overall um, combination of all your uh, abilities. Uh, for the rest, they have uh, where you get your research network. It could be from the university, it could be from the research institute. Uh, you have to file a pattern, you have to add value of your IPs. Uh, but in China, of course, nowadays is the semiconductor, DRAMs, mobile, uh, internet of things. That's the most popular, uh, popular uh, subjects. Uh, they were under the guideline of the government. Um, this is just an experience what they have done, and they would like to share. So most of the university they have the incubation center and. Um, the current concern is how to cultivate essential standard patterns, on um, how to uh, provide the data mining and the support of the claim chart mapping. Um, they, we have an expert here to ask for you to ask questions and answer how they do in this. Um, they also have different kind of business method, how to pepper your research effort. It's not only the sales licensing, and they have other investment related. Uh, combination of uh, securitization or backed by royalty contract, IP DAF, or also sec for what we just mentioned, a secondary form for handling collateral IP, and also how to build the standard pattern pool, like all matters. So, here, what we'd like to say is every country has its own background, uh, how they want to uh, monetize their IP, because uh, it may have a lot, government complain, universities spend a lot of research funds, but there are so many patents, inventions have been going on the market. But sometimes it's not necessary all the inventions go on the market. It's just like a house. 
you have a foundation, you have a decoration, you have a function, real function. So the pattern they could be defensive, they could be protective, they could be just for some uh, put, uh, for overall portfolio. So here, what I like to say is that the pattern, of course, they have a monetary value. Uh, in Japan, you know, recently, Fosco may uh, acquire, but what we like to say is invest. They don't want to use acquire because they hurt Japanese pride. Uh, they invest on um, uh, the invest uh, shop. Uh, they also <coughs> we heard higher or or Heidi Heidi it's not Heidi 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 just invest on Mitsubishi. Right? Awesome. Yeah yeah they invest in Mitsubishi. So for example they just uh, we need uh, we were hoping there will be some Asian vision because every country have their dynamic. Competence. For example, China, we have so many talent here, but we, are, we have less experience on um, monetization IP. For Japan, they're very good at doing research, but they have less innovative idea. Uh, what I found from Korean, uh, they are more aggressive. They have more courage to try different kind of uh, business models. So we're here hoping we share their uh, ideas and then later I will talk about more uh, subjects with some cases and I know you want to know about more uh, regulation about the uh, technical transfer or antitrust or some other subjects and I will follow after Mr. Uh, Fong's presentation and I wonder do you have any questions you would like to ask them because they have they are not from academic field but they have real experience uh, for example Mr. Fong have over I think now 30 years experience <laughs> And, That's <laughs> and Mr. Lee, he has been in LG for 13 years and he has been working for Samsung and also intellectual property. Um, if a uh, state IP office invited them to be the lecturer for the industry, they must have a lot of the various experience to share you. So I hope you, we can open the floor for this moment for you to ask them some uh, real questions. Uh, <laughs> Uh, actually, intellectual discovery was initiated by Korean government, and um, the, I think for the, he asked what kind of an organization is the intellectual discovery. Ah uh, yes, uh, let me briefly uh, uh, explain the, the brief history of ID. Yes. Uh, in two thousand. Uh, government, uh, government initiated uh, uh, creating uh, the ID uh, to protect uh, Korean uh, companies. No, uh, some Korean companies uh, enters the uh, global market. Those companies are facing uh, IP uh, dispute with uh, global companies. So, uh, so but uh, some uh, the some uh, the, the 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 patents uh, some patents are the operating companies, but uh, yeah, some uh, other. Companies uh, uh, non operating company, uh, non practicing company in this NPE. So it is very difficult to depend against the NPE. So uh, in the case of uh, operating companies, uh, the, the, the depending companies can uh, counter attack. But uh, in case the the, the, the claimant uh, is the NPE, uh, it is impossible to make a counterclaim. Mm. So uh, it is uh, if uh, someone collect the patents that uh, may be some problem in the future. So uh, I will start to collect. Companies for the 
defensive purpose. This is the uh, starting point. Uh, then uh, about no, about five years passed since the uh, foundation. So it's time uh, ID uh, is open to expand our uh, business area. Uh, for licensing issues, licensing period. Uh, also, we are also trying to make a cooperation with our foreign companies, such as Chinese companies. Uh,我用中文简单解释一下,然后我再用英文说,就说其实他们就是国家资产权主权基金,然后一开始是由韩国政府主投,因为韩国是不是 开讲了手机大战，他们必须解决很多韩国企业的问题。因此，由国家主投、国家出钱，然后加上这些受难的企业一起组成了一个基金，一起来对抗外侮。所以前面五年的阶段是用这个基金来协助韩国企业，然后来
But I think they also founded IP Bridge. Yes. IP Bridge is the second institution that learned a business model from intellectual discovery. Instead of intellectual discovery is the oldest IP management company. And then we have a China IP firm from Beijing. It was from 2013 or 14. So now we, they, they are actually working together. But only by those funding agencies working together. If companies, university, because university is MP, you are not, uh, you are not part of non-practicing non company. Yeah, MPE. so if you are MPE, you are not PAE. PAE is the, the, the party that sue a lot of the company. So you are also part of MPE. And you have so many partners. So if you know the idea, you may have the, uh, you may try to find the source. You can make the maximum benefit of the, the, the pattern because I, can, I believe in Qing. We, we just visited Qinghua Kong, Qinghua Kong this afternoon. Um, and Qinghua is one of the leading universities have established a good reputation on pattern uh, monetization. The first, the first one will be Cambridge because Cambridge they they have done a lot of very good example. They are the leading university doing IP monetization. Um, so this I think is the, the purpose that I bring them here because you probably from different, uh, but you from law school right or from law school. But normally all participants are from different professions. So the idea could be explored, and then there will be more and more idea. And if you want to raise a Pattern portfolio, pattern funding, pattern agency. You need to have all kind of portfolio. That's why I show you. They have this so many, but they have done this for many years. You, you need to have all kind of portfolio. If you only have one particular area, you're not going to do much work because you can only have particular industry. And nowadays, the, the application could cross functions. Yeah, even a chip can go to biomedics. You can go to mobile phone, you can go to other, so the, yeah, that's the, the, the business for showing all these uh, uh, business models. Uh, actually, uh, intellectual discovery business model is, uh, I believe, very similar to RPX, as someone knows uh, RPX of the US. Uh, RPX uh, invite uh, some companies uh, to invest some money, then RPX collect some pattern from uh, some others for the members. So uh, uh, our people some uh, say is uh, but uh, some difference between uh, uh, RTX and ID. Uh, is, uh, RTX uh, is bad guy. And ID is a uh, good guy. <laughs> yes. So uh, our uh, original uh, uh, client uh, were the Korean companies, but. Uh, now we are trying to expand our uh, uh, customer to uh, Chinese companies. So, if, for example, if some Chinese company want uh, some patent, ID can supply. This is our business. Yeah. So, question. Uh, so, from what I think, uh, ID is pretty much like the defensive MP, such as. Uh, RPX, but uh, say, see if I am an offensive MP, I have a patent, I can attack you, but uh, how can you protect the, like the, the infringer by only leasing your patents but not mine? Good question. <laughs> uh, the, usually, uh, as uh, uh, Professor Wang said, uh, Uh, it's very uh, difficult uh, issues uh, to protect against uh, NPE. Uh, in the case uh, for me, uh, I have uh, over 25 years experience in licensing, litigation, and uh, our intellectual discoveries members Many, uh, most of uh, intellectual discovery members are from uh, global companies from Korea, such as Samsung and LG. Uh, so we have many experience to depend patent claim or litigation. So uh, we can share uh, our experience in the uh, patent dispute, such as litigation. Yes. Uh, 
so 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 a defensive NP is so, uh, so what's the difference between a defensive NP and a pattern pool? Uh, may I answer in this this matter? What do you mean how to defend the how to help the infringer? Uh, normally when the pattern mitigation they start uh, they have a print construction and then they emit they quickly they, if in United States system you quickly have you have client structure client construction then summary judgment you at that stage you, you already know you will win or lose. If you know you're going to lose, there's two ways. One you try to invalidate the patent. Mm. The other one is you to buy another technology to buy more portfolio to force them to settle with you. So yeah, but they, that's against a practicing company, but what if I'm a, what if the the non practicing the entity is suing you? Yeah, yeah, and that will tell you one thing. What is the purpose of MP? They want to earn money. And you know, uh, litigation is very expensive unless it's in India or in China or in Taiwan. In other places, the litigation fee, the court fee, the lawyer fees are very high. So the strategy normally for the uh, innocent or real infringer, they will try to prolong the procedure. The longer they prolong, um, the MPE have to invest more and more. And finally, they have to give in. For example, in Taiwan, we recently heard, there are some MPE that say, if you pay me 7,000, I will withdraw the case. But you know how much in US normally, pre-trial you have to spend a million. Then 7,000 you want to withdraw, you just try to throw it in. But if you pay 7,000 US, then you will get another 1,000 MP. <laughs> so they are different way, but sometimes depends, litigation is very complicated. So I think there's a promising business for law school students. The more you practice, the more you know how to deal with it. For example, yesterday in Shangsha, the first morning we have done a speaker, the afternoon we have German lawyer as speaker. If you just learn from the class, uh, I, I will use the one e uh, example. Yesterday they talked about the Zhejiang Medical uh, Company, the win the litigation with uh, the, the counterparty is from Japan. The Japan company, they feel they are 100 years old company, we are the leaders, we have a lot of money, so they open a, a war in the US, in Germany, in China, but the German attorneys are very smart. They have to, they have to search, so you have to, you have to study a lot. They search, they find some prior art, and they try to find whether the judge has some misinterpretation for the claim. So everything based on the experts. So you can use litigation skill, you can use uh, pattern finding prosecuting skill, you can use your capital management, <laughs> you can have your skill to do all, all kind of combination to help your uh, client, depends on your client, defendant or, or uh, plaintiff. Uh, uh, additionally, uh, I, I believe the uh, negotiation skill uh, can be helpful. Uh, Actually, this is uh, the dependent uh, can try to invalidate the patent. Uh, uh, you know, uh, there is a uh, IPR system in the US, US uh, in this uh, inter-party review. Uh, so, a uh, dependent can uh, try to invalidate. Uh, usually, uh, dependent when the dependent uh, files uh, IPR, usually the, the litigation uh, will be stay. During the stay of the uh, litigation, uh, <coughs> dependent uh, can try to take the power uh, using the uh, prior to validate. What Mr. Fan just mentioned is from a patent prosecution point of view. And so they will have, I always say, nothing's perfect. Patent always has a flow. And it would be very easy for experienced uh, patent attorney or litigation attorney try to uh, accuse their patent validity. And alternative, because this, when you mention about MBE, normally they related to uh, stand, essential standard patent. But essential standard pattern, they could have various owner, and they could have belong to different, yeah. 
So you think you have an essential standard pattern, everybody has to pay you, but there could be other essential standard patterns. So you could license it from other skills. It, it, you know, pattern have two kinds of pattern. One's method, one is a uh, device. device. Yeah. If it's a method, definitely they have different way. So you find another another type of essential standard pattern. You find another buyer, so you can rescue your defendant. If you have experience, you have many ways to save your client. But sometimes, when as as Miss Fang just mentioned, never never be overconfident. Yeah. yeah. Negotiation. Negotiation also need a lot of training. Yeah.